In this video we are going to take a look at a blood bank record log where when you're performing your blood bank testing that you record your results. So this is a very large document as you can see it's I'll put my hand and slide and it's two of my hands so I'm going to go through it just bit by bit. Okay, at the top of the, I mean, of course, every document may look different. This is not what they're all going to look like, but it's going to give you an idea of what, you know, what you can expect from the record log. Now, on this particular one, they have on the top the recommended grading system, which can be helpful for beginners. Uh, all right, over here, we have date, name, previous history, and ID number. Over here we have ABO testing, we have front, it says antisera, but that's our forward, and then cells, it's the reverse. So what it's referring to here, antisera cells, antisera, is the reagent that's being used. Okay, we scoot over here, we have RH testing, and here we have the DU, or the weak D. Now this may be optional in your facility, where you're either... Uh, doing your clinicals or where you're working. Okay, next to that we have the direct Coombs test. Uh, we slide over here, we have the antibody screen. Now the antibody screen is divided into, uh, in this particular laboratory, we use uh, two cells, one and two, but there is space for three different cells. We have our auto control, and then over here we have place for our interpretation. And the next section over here is for compatibility testing when we're cross-matching units uh, for a patient. And then finally over here we have the information for issuing uh, blood products or units and then if they should happen to be returned for some reason, if they weren't used, for example. Okay, let's go ahead and just look at some examples of what's going on here. So first patient here is John Doe. So we have our date, which is today. Uh, John has no history. Uh, he, his ID number is one, two, three, four, five, six. Forward type, four plus and A, and zero or negative for B. Now, on this log sheet, they have A, B, but we don't use those, <clears throat> that antisera in this laboratory, so we're not going to worry about it. Uh, and then for the reverse, we have uh, A1 cells, and John was negative for that. A2 we don't use, and then B he was positive. So when we're determining what uh, ABO type a patient is, we can look at the forward type, and he forward typed as A. And in fact, that's what he is. He's an A in the back type. He agglutinated with the B cells, so that confer there's confirmation that he is in fact an A patient. Okay, let's slide over here. We have the D which was positive, and we have the control, which was negative, so that means we can stop. This patient is RH positive. So over here, we have an interpretation of a pause, which we write out POS. We don't just put a dash mark. And then uh, I put my initials right here. Okay, next patient, Mary Smith. Uh, date, name, no history, ID number. Okay, now Mary, she... Uh, forward types as an O, and she back for reverse types as an O as well, right? So if you're, you know, don't have the antigens on your cells, well, that means that you have the, you, mu you will have the antibodies to those antigens. So everything checks out here just fine. She is an O patient. Now, things get a little bit more complicated here when we do the RH testing because she has come up negative for D and her control is negative, which is good. Uh, now, it depends on the facility and the situation, but uh, you may not have to perform weak D or DU testing, but we have here, and uh, she came up negative for DU and her control came up negative, which is good, and then CC, that's for check cells, right? So... Whenever you see CC, you see CC, that means an uh, antihuman globulin test has taken place. Now, with the DU testing or the weak D, it is the indirect antiglobulin test. And whenever we have a negative after uh, 
using the AHG, we have to do the check cells. And here we have a check and a check, and that tells us that the check cells worked. So everything's okay. We're going to call this patient A neg. Now, some facilities may require your, you to write weak D neg. So some physicians may want to know if that was just a neg or if that was if the IAT was in fact performed. Okay, so we've run an antibody screen over here on on uh, Mary. And so at each stage she was negative in cell 1. She was negative at all stages in cell 2. She was ne her autocontrol, which is a combination of her plasma and her own red cells, those were all negative. And our check cells were good, good, and good, right? So once again, we see check cells in use, so that means an antihuman globulin test has been used here, and that is the indirect antihuman globulin test. Okay, so we can interpret Mary's antibody screen as negative. So I write neg and then my initials. Okay, Mary needed a couple units of blood. Um, so what we do here, this compatibility testing, is we write the unit number. We write what uh, blood type the unit is. So Mary is an O-neg pa patient, so she absolutely has to have O-neg uh, blood. Uh, unless, of course, this is, it's an emergency situation and she's over, she's, past, she's beyond child uh, rearing days or her rearing age, then she could potentially be given O positive blood, but we're going to try to give her type specific blood. So uh, we have written here that oh, she has O neg or she's, these units are O neg. So when we do the testing, initial spin 37 and AHG for both units are negative and our check cells have checked out. So therefore, that means that uh, these units are compatible. So we're just going to write comp, comp, and then I put my initials uh, there. And once again, we see check cells in use, and that means that an antihumoglobulin test was used, and that, in this case, it was the IHT.